it's working. Okay. So, just so everyone knows, we are technically live. Um, we have... <laughs> we have Outcast in the chat. I'm taking this thing off. It's it's fun to show off at the very beginning of this of all of this with its Cheshire grin. It's my mask. Uh, but oh god. <sighs> okay. Hello, Spike. Thank you, thank you. We are waiting for Tazinkaf to jump in. He is here as Mike O'Need. And uh, once he gets on the internet, on the Discord, we shall begin. Outcast, if you could do me a favor, is the is the music coming in well? Is the audio from the desktop coming in? Oh, and there's Tazenkaf. Oh. Damn it. Who let you in? I'll fire that bouncer. Ah, okay, fine. You want to play uh you want to play a a leshy bard? I mean I don't know. We haven't really played much, so we can't tell yet. All right. Well. Welcome to the show, everyone. Last time we played we saw um, members of our intrepid circus flee the celestial menagerie of Mistress Dusklight. Um, since then, we have a couple of those players are no longer, well, they are indisposed. They may return, they, it may take some time, who knows? Um, but we do have some new I'd say faces, but I think I'm... Th yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm the only face that is showing right now. <clears throat> we have some new voices in the crowd. And some new characters, too. We have, for example... Levi. Say hello, Levi, so people can recognize your voice. Excellent. Well, I'm fine. And we also have Rambles. Say hello, Rambles. <laughs> and we have Michelle. Say hello, Michelle. If you can. <laughs> right? Perfect. All right. And uh, let's see. For that good instruction following... Vimala shall have a second hero point. All right. So, it has been uh, some time since your late night flight. And I just got a message. Oh, excellent. Good. Audio seems to be coming through. This is good. This is good. Oh, wait. You can't hear the players. Uh oh. That's not good. Really speak. All right. Uh, let's try this again. I'm here. All right. All right. Well, let's see here. This is this is good. Live, everybody. Mm. Still nothing there, Outcast. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try. 
A well, good thing we're hammering this out now. Okay. Um, let's turn okay. this up. Oh, goody. Excitement. Okay. Oh, well, I heard. Oh, goody. I'm hearing people. I'll be one moment. Oh, okay. Good. We are audible now as well to Outcast. Yeah. All right. Audible, not edible. Yes, audible, not edible. Big distinction. I don't have any more edibles. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a shame. That's a shame. Guess we'll have to eat you. Oh, you don't want to eat me, bruh. Alright. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. If you guys sat down and ate a clown, would it taste funny? Oh, God. I don't know, would you laugh? Oh. 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 Oh, Zach, there's no need for all those groans. They're just clowning around. <laughs> Hey, I'm just getting into character, bro. Anywho, uh, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> You're the one that organized this. That's true. That's true. I am. I am. <clears throat> I I have been known to uh, act on self-destructive impulses. So. <clears throat> After fleeing Mistress Dusklight's celestial menagerie, you made your way across the island of Iran to the town of Aberton. It is a rather small town on the smaller of the two main islands around Ab that uh, encompass Absalom's direct sphere of influence. And while it is small, and some of the people there seem a bit morose in a way, what a perfect way to lift up their spirits, but by bringing the circus to town. And so it is mm -hmm. that the Circus of Wayward Wonders has decided to bitch their tent, so to say, in Abiton and start making a name for themselves. You have set the date of the show for... I forget what Saturday is in Galarian. I'll have to look it up. I have a calendar here somewhere. I think it's Star Day. Let's see. Yes, Star Day. You have set the date of the show to open up on Star Day. Now you just have to get ready. You have to build anticipation and hope that it pays off with excitement for the show. Now, when preparing for a show like this, it is good to, <clears throat> pardon me, oh wow, hmm. sorry, almost choked on um, a boba, whoo, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Mad Catter dies on stream, playing Pathfinder. That's how I would have wanted it to go. Not really. Not really. Oh, yeah, you're just asking for it. All right. I'll leave everybody. <laughs> so, um, one thing that must be planned, as over these, over the 
weeks since your departure from the Celestial Menagerie. You have been practicing your crafts, your various tricks for your future performance. However, not everybody in the group has to perform. Some people do non-performance roles, like maybe they are uh, a medic for anybody who kind of screws up. Or maybe they work on lighting, or they help with the costumes, or they coordinate the clowns. I feel sorry for that bastard. Um, or they're a carnival barker, a band leader, a backup clown, an animal handler, a pyrotechnic, or a security guard. It's good it's to determine who... Hmm? Nothing, sorry, it is Oh. Um... If you choose one of these non-performing roles, this means you do not... Obviously, this means you cannot perform in the circus, so this is a good thing to pay attention to. Um, but it does help with things like building anticipation or helping with the excitement or whatnot. And those are the things that will eventually determine the group's payout at the end of the performance. So as you are in the planning stages, while you've been building up to this, you lot have been kind of looked at as sort of de facto leaders alongside the uh, the ringmaster, Myron Thunder, and I forgot his last name. I'll worry about it later. Um, ringmaster Thunder and the professor have gathered you all to plan these things out. The professor leans in and takes a look at Felix. Is, uh, is Mr. Kitty good to perform tonight? He's recovered from his injuries, I trust. Yep, he's hot and ready to go. Ah, excellent. Now we just have to figure out which act to put you in. As you... Yay, classic bad exposition trick. As you all know... Zach I'm sorry, what? Second and fourth. Well, there's... Act. Yeah, ah, yes, well, as I was saying, as you all know, uh, we have four acts. Each one consisting of uh, one or more tricks. The opener is usually one trick, the build-up is two tricks, the big number is one trick, and then we reach the finale with three. So you wish to be in the second and the fourth act. Yes. Very well. Very well. A good build up and the finale. Fire is always good for that. <clears throat> and, um, Mike, where do you want to be this performance, opening performance? Well, my background is a barker, but I can also do performance type stuff. Right. Mike is actually an excellent singer. Oh. First okay. act. <laughs> First act, all right, very well. You know what they say, it's showing over until the fat mushroom sings. <laughs> Wait. Wait, are you calling me fat? No, you ain't fat, you stalky! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like this one. 
Unlike that other ass clown, this one's actually funny. <laughs> I feel dead inside. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, so we have Mike for the opener. Uh, we have Felix and Mr. Kitty for... Um, second and fourth act. Gaslo! I'm here for duty, sir! What can I do for you, bro? Well, I'm... Oh, I'm almost thinking. I keep slipping into the Mad Catter voice. I have been thinking that perhaps you could... You're not... Well, actually, no. I think you could go in on... The third act. Sounds good to me, brother. Ah, uh, yes. The big number? Well, I can be that or I can be a headliner one of the years. But I, ah, I left my mop at home. <laughs> hmm. All right. Maybe not the headliner. Hmm. How about you aid uh, Felix with Mr. Kitty in the second act for the build up? Ooh. Do I get to pet the cat? Tell me you get to pet the cat. None of your... Don't pet the uh, cat. None of your paint is flammable, I hope. Oh, no! This isn't makeup. Oh. He gets close to you, and he just looks you dead in the eye and says, This is not makeup. All right. Very well. <laughs> Cinder! And we have a... Yes. Cat who has decided to join us. <laughs> uh, you just got to work around them, really. Cinder, I, I get the impression that your your talents could probably could go very well with Felix and Mr. Kitty during the finale. Okay. You have a, a knack for fire, I believe. Is that correct? Uh, I'd like to raise up my talent of ball of fire and puffs into existence. Excellent, excellent. Well, says Thunder. It does appear, and she's sitting on my black light. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love cats, huh? Right. Right. Well, it does appear that we have most of the show ready to go. So. Need our main act and one more uh, finale trick. Indeed, indeed. Now, we do have other members of the circus, of course. Do, 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 do. So, let's get uh, some ideas. Um, I know. Where the hell did it go? Oh, that's right. It's going to be over here. The sun is going to be stuck in my brain meats. Ah. For so long. Okay. Uh, where the hell is it? Ah, there we go. Well, we have... Um, I know Axel has been begging for a chance to show off, but we I don't know that we can trust him uh, with the big number or the finale. Hmm. I know we have uh, Eliza. 
Eliza has Mr. Tickles. Hmm. I don't think Mr. Tickles can jump through any fire hoops. Mr. Tickles is, um, a rather massive snake. <clears throat> Anybody can do a strange yank and throw him. Can be the hoop. Ah. Throwing. That's perfect. We'll have the dwarven throwers in this act. I think they would be perfect for the finale. What do you, what do you believe? Wait, we have dwarven throwers? Yes. Now, when you say dwarven throwers, do you mean that the dwarves that throw, or do... Are they dwarves that get thrown? Yes. Yes. Music ah. stopping there was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and... So, so who catches them? Yes. No. They catch themselves. <laughs> Have you ever tried catching a flying dwarf? Oh. Uh, I've juggled the too. And I, uh, where is my? Oh, there it is. Let's just say and there's a reason why. Via, via, via Mala. <laughs> yes, darling. Where would you like to be involved? Well, well given as how well, this is our first time. I don't know. Well, perhaps I should go out and rally up the people nearby and have them come watch us, and then, and then I'll stand by and be ready to heal anybody. Considering how we're doing this for ourselves for the first time. Sounds excellent. Uh, so we will have you as our medic during the performance in case something goes awry. All right, and um, I am thinking that. The Featherfall Five could be a big event. Trapeze artists, acrobats, uh, everybody uh, yes. loves them. Just a bit of daring do before we throw some spectacle their way. Yeah, everybody loves acrobats until they hit the ground. Yes, well, we are hoping that they don't. After all, that's why we've been training for about a month. I've seen so many of them hit the ground. You have no idea. Even harder to clean up. Well, There's some people that actually do enjoy it. But, uh, yeah. When, when you've been in Mistress Dusklight's circus for long, you will inevitably see many hit the ground. All right. Well, we have, we have our. We have our show. <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure if I should be worried for us or not. <sighs> I think we'll be fine. Maybe. Do we, do we have any uh, funds to buy some advertisements? Uh, we can certainly get some. Uh, one, one moment. I am going... To do something I should have done while we were discussing this, but I probably would have been really distracted with typing, because, yeah. All right, so these things do work out a bit like an encounter, and I am going to take off these damn gloves because they, I can't type with them, but I'd rather type a little faster. Coward! <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also I also get to deal with the cat. All right. So our opener opening performer is going to be Mike. Oh, why is okay good. Our opening performer is going to be Mike Onid. Is it wrong to drug the audience? Yes. I mean. If you sell it to them and they take it willingly, 
I mean, it's only spores, right? <laughs> you and me, you and me later. We, we, we're gonna go spend some time together in the hood. Uh, yeah, I, I think I need to have a talk with you as well. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. So Mike Onid will be singing. And we have our Act 2 build-up, which is going to be Felix and Mr. Kitty, as well as Gaslo. Nope. That's the Windows key. That's not the Z key. <laughs> All right. And then for a big number, a very big number, we are going to have the Feather Fall 5. And then we'll hit... Sorry, say it again? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I didn't hear anything. I thought I thought somebody was starting to say something, and then the uh, microphone cut off like it sometimes does. So there, we'll have Felix. Thank you, Nala. She finally got tired of me typing rather than petting her. <laughs> we need to find a big reflective uh, surface we can use, because if we can do that, I can, I can use light. Oh, light, and... Uh, we can make a we can make ourselves some spotlight. Hmm. By the way, at some point. Okay. Um we could certainly work on um in in future shows where you are not performing, you could do work on lighting in such a fashion. Oh, right, right, right. Um okay, so we have Felix and Mr. Kitty. We have Cinder. And we have the Dwarven Throwers. All right. All going on at the same time, right? Or yeah, there's, there's sort of an emphasis. Um, okay. Now, I'm just taking a quick look at some of these. Oh, that was... Okay, so, uh, before circuses, there can be temporary upgrades gained and purchased. Um, right now we are brand new, so the funds are more or less out of pocket. Um, temporary upgrades are just that. They help with the next performance. Um, these include things like beer confections, disposable binoculars, and various levels of merchandise. What are you doing? Uh, let's get beer. And snacks, if we can. Okay, so beer and confections. Um, beer would end up costing five gold. And confections, 15. Okay, so... Mm. Who has that kind of money? Because I'm pretty sure we all start with silver. Oh. That is true, that is true. Um, I'm going probably, to say... I think we're probably not going to be able to use boosts at this point. That's fine. It's that whole... Oh, god damn it. Come on. I will... You know what? Actually, I'm going to pick one of you to do this. Um... Yes. What's going on? 
Oh. Yeah, my character showed that I got five gold on my, uh, in my items. So. How do you have that? I didn't no, give the it. No, items, the items themselves are worth five gold. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I was, oh, I just, yeah. five G. <laughs> no, you. the starter packs for whichever class you pick. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, we are going to go with Felix here. Felix, yeah. I want you to roll a d20. A 19. Oh. Very <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Very nice. It's a shame you have to roll lower. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there is that. There is that. No, no, no. Um, so, unfortunately, so with uh, this being a starting thing, um, we will be able to... Uh, that will be sort of the starting cash for the circus. Um, alas, alack, uh, there are... issues in that certain things, uh, certain temporary upgrades require the circus to have a certain level of prestige. Um, mm. So essentially a lot of the starting money has been going towards um, has been going towards paying the performers and uh, maintaining everything and so on and so forth, but we will definitely have money for advertisements and um beer beer since that one doesn't require prestige right hey wait and... a second yes mm -hmm. the performers yes so where's we our get money? paid too we have to perform first no that's some no. of that that is some <laughs> of your starting cash that you've already got why convenient I'm pretty sure I had all my money before we started the search. So, <laughs> oh, God. Uh -huh. This is the money that you guys all saved up to get the circus going. <laughs> anyway. I like so. Fire. Let's see here. Let me see. Oh, oh, uh, quick question. Uh, yes. if we're yes. performing in the show, can we still promote the show? Yes. Uh, promoting all happens, uh, after all of that. Yep. Um, so, <clears throat> that is what we will be working on next. So we have figured out non-performer roles, uh, which is namely um, Virmala being the medic. Um, we have determined, well, in this situation, certain events have already been determined. Um, and now we get to work on anticipation. Um, as you all get to throw money at advertisements. To promote. And uh, go out and promote the circus as well. Now, during the week building up to the Star Days big show, 
people get to make a society check. And this is them going out to perform. So you have all set up shop, and now it is time to go out into the town for the very first time to actually start revving up the crowd. Who wishes to get things moving for the first time? I have a low society. Yeah. I was kind of raised by Mistress Dustlight, so... Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna clown. I'll, I'll still do it. I mean, I'll do it, but I have a plus one. <laughs> well, let's, well, let's just say that you don't want Mike doing anything that has anything to do with intelligence checks. <laughs> All. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's wait. not his forte. Wouldn't my charisma come into play, considering it's eight? Society is more knowledge. Um, yeah, but I'm going out and flashing my face and saying, hey, come watch us. So you would be able to do... So, so the... <laughs> so your charisma modifier will affect the anticipation that is generated. Okay. Um, but the society check is knowing how and when to work the crowd in particular towns and so on and so forth. Ah, okay. Um, because if you, like, walk into a town waving and you don't realize that waving in this town is, like, their version of flipping the bird... What? Yep. Then you might have problems. <laughs> What kind of messed up country are we living in right now? I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying... I'm using an example. Ustalov. <clears throat> so, Zach, can I ask one quick favor? <laughs> Certainly. Can you put up my main character page along with my abilities page? Um, I can put up the abilities page, and then I can switch over to the main tab if that is something you want me to do. Yes, Wait, please, here, so I can the... take a picture with... Oh. oh, okay. There's your main tab. Okay. And then my skills. Oh, yep. And there's your skills. Even with the delay, I have them now. <laughs> okay. All right. And there is your abilities. All right. I'll, I will attempt this society check. Okay. Anybody want to try and assist? I shall. Okay. So, uh, it looks like Felix, Mr. Kitty, and did I hear Gaslow? are going out to work the crowd? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two cats and a clown. What could go wrong? All right. <laughs> oh, my. All right, Gazlo. So you're going to um, assist Felix and Mr. Kitty. So go ahead and... Um, and roll... Uh, it's basically a flat intelligence check. It's just a flat intelligence. Oh, yeah. this is going to be awesome. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, no, wait, that's not it. Uh, no. it's... That's your score. Okay, this is the mm -hmm. one. Okay. There we go. Oh, Oof. no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, all right, so all that. my door right now. How bad is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm smoking a cigarette. Well, <laughs> thankfully, thankfully it was just the, the assist. Oh, 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 oh. Dear. oh. well, <laughs> you clown it. I walk on the scene and I trip and fall, and then you come up and try to do the same, and you trip and fall on top of me in a honk. Jesus. I mean, that's 
that's hilarious. That's, pretty that's funny. actually good. But I was thinking. All right. So here's the thing. Um, this is technically a failure, and that would actually be get a get a pretty solid laugh. Um. So so your intention was to do that, Gaslo. Uh, but instead, as you trip and fall you make it look like you were running, like honestly running in fear from Mr. Kitty. And for a moment, and and Felix, you're trying to work with Mr. Kitty, but you unfortunately make it look like Mr. Kitty is about to murderize Gaslow. And unfortunately, the crowd in the town, in the marketplace, um, they they get startled and they, they clear the streets. Um... As you are awkwardly sitting there going, uh okay. And I'm just sitting I'm just sitting on top of one of the carriages watches the watching the entire thing cackling my ass off. <clears throat> <laughs> oh jeez. Like can I can I roll an action to get back up again? You don't have to roll an action. You can get back up. Uh, if you want to do something cool to get up, uh, give me an acrobatics. Okay. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Did you just bomb another one? <laughs> I rolled a nat one. Oh, so, my god. Get it. Ga Ga Gaslow. Gaslow. Uh, this is one of those things where you can use your hero point. Okay. I've so been... what you do is you open up your character sheet and you'll yeah, double click I... on the number of the hero point and it'll show up in the chat box as being spent. And now you get to re-roll that. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, oh, nice. oh, nice. What'd you get? All right, so twenty-five. I do one of those um, oh, long damn. chops. Yeah. You do one of those what? Well, actually, um, I sprout legs out of my shoulders and bring myself back to my feet, and then sprout like four other arms and start immediately juggling. Do I so, need to do a performance check? So, um, your, your abilities as a, a flesh warped, um, aren't quite like that. Um, oh, yeah. however, what you could do, for example, is if you recall when we built you, um, yeah. you have your, the literal, uh, yeah. two dirty jokes, you have the literal the extra... third arm, um, <laughs> As opposed to a third leg. Yeah. So yeah, I could uh, use my third arm to basically push me back up. Yeah. And you, the way you made it look, nobody knew. Um, hold on one moment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute myself for a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so the way I see this one is you um, 
maybe didn't make it obvious that you had a third third arm, and when you did, when you used it to put, uh, oh, whoops. Still I'm muted, not, dude. yeah, I'm still muted. I'm sorry, I muted myself for you guys, and then I realized the audience would be able to hear, and that's what I was trying to stop, because Cleo was making, uh, less than pleasant noises. Um, <laughs> the cat is displeased. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Long-haired cats. Let's just leave it at that. I can relate. I like the idea of the third limb. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, and um, Gaslo, you do it in in such a, an amazing way. It kind of um, makes up for that um, lost moment due to actually losing your momentum. Second win, bro. Second win. <laughs> so Gaslow manages to um, push themselves up, maybe do a flip. You can describe it. I just said the basics. You got the third limb involved. You, you, you give me the flavor text. Oh, yeah. So I... I basically use my third arm to launch me up, do a backflip, and then land with a perfect, uh, you know, vaulting. Just okay. like one of those superhero stances. You just <laughs> they didn't even have an explosion in the background. <laughs> you hear me just kind of off on the side, just, yeah! <laughs> so more of the people come out, um... They had originally thought some fiery big cat was, um, was menacing a freak downtown. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and uh, so now, Felix and Mr. Kitty, what do you want to do to try and regain ad advantage of this uh, moment? Uh, both perform somersaults. <laughs> okay. I mean, Cleo, I do not want you on my $60 book right after you just hawked up your dinner. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, kitty. It's just not in the cards. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm switching. I'm switching this up. This is getting. This is getting to me. Hold on, one moment. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to Act One. Provided it actually does what I say it's gonna do. Uh, Sirenscape. I said Act One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make it nice and shiny, but you know, sometimes, sometimes. It's all good. All right. So, um, so you wish to do acrobats with Mr. Kitty and uh, try and regain the public's interest in the uh, hopefully not not so dangerous cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, well, give me acrobatics checks for both of you. <clears throat> oh. Do you do you want to oh. use something? There we go.
So yeah, uh, you are you are successful with that. In fact, yeah, uh, you are successful at that. So go ahead and describe what you two do. You said you said somersaults, but come on, give it, give us a little more. Um, I'm gonna start. Uh, oh, hold on. Okay, sorry. So Mr. Kitty was chasing uh, Gazlo, mm -hmm. and of course he tripped and fell. But then did that nifty little uh, somersault uh, vault thing. So uh, snap my fingers, and uh, Mr. Kitty starts doing his little uh, somersault. Followed by me, oh. and we turn it into a uh, ta da! <laughs> All right, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, with that, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I will say, uh, especially since you started off kind of scaring the crowd and then you rebounded with finesse and grace. We will say that that w I will treat that. It's not going to be much because uh, charisma twelve, but I will treat that as a critical success for your first foray into the town. Um, that will be. Let's see here. So and Gaslow manages to with the assist. I'm playing with the rules here, so forgive me. Um, so that'll be plus. DM. <laughs> right. <laughs> God damn it! If anybody it. can, it's me. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, that'll be. Plus two modifier, twice as long. Plus one charisma modifier. Okay, so. Five? Twice. Hold on. Okay. Which is two. And then your charisma modifier. Plus your charisma modifier, which is three. So that. I believe, if I'm doing math right, is actually six. Oh. Oh, cool. wait. Uh, well, it's not saying... Participation. Equal two. Twice the sum of your... Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Never mind. Not twice the sum of your level plus your charisma. Mod okay. Okay. So, yeah. It would be... Um, I know math. I promise. Are you though? No, not really. No. There's a reason so two... why we're in a circus together. Yeah, exactly. Two times your level. Is... Two times one is two. Um, plus your charisma modifier is three. And then... Yeah, so you generated three anticipation. That just feels weak. Wait, plus Gaslow's two? Uh, Gaslow provides a plus two circumstance to your check. Ah. Which, oh, yeah, uh, which brought it up to a... Because um, I'm going going with your acrobatics, um, that brought it up to 25, which is technically a crit, um, which means because uh, normally you would generate anticipation equal to your level, which is one, plus your charisma modifier, which is one. Um, so that ends up being two. Um, but. Right. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with four and call it good. I'm gonna say it's twice the the success because that just feels better. Maybe when you guys get higher level, we'll we'll revisit that. But I'm I'm going with four. God damn it! I'm tired of doing basic math in my head. I I, I left school ages ago. God damn it! <laughs> All right, and we Next can time. do two more promotions for the week. Yep, you guys can do two more promotions. You can also get advertisements. Um. Uh, and with, so you've purchased, uh, you're purchasing beer, so that's five gold. So with that, uh, so that means you can get, I might just, let me see here. Hold on. I gotta find my, 
Temporary upgrade description. Purchasing advertisements. Okay. Um, so <laughs> you can spend... Yes, Cleo, I know. Yes, I know you peeled. You don't have to tell me. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> God. Cats, what can I say? <laughs> Meanwhile, you don't realize that Cleo is actually trying to tell you that you need to invest in uh, Sony right now. <laughs> it's like, fuck, ah, man, this is the perfect time. You've got to do it. Because uh... my stock's plus 2% today. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Tier 2? Yeah, so Violet's you guys would be able to do tier 2. Um, Which brings so our anticipation to 6. Yep. Okay. So, now we move on to... Oh, I got rid of something I didn't want to get rid of. I will worry about that in just a moment, though. Okay, I can close that. All of these things! Um, I'm going to get this open, go to this part, and put that there. Ooh. That way I have it all in kind of one place. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't have taken my money out of Bitcoin. I was broke. <laughs> okay. Very distracting, Kitty. I love you. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Uh, tier 2, so we have 6. So now we have two more attempts at promoting the circus. I'll, hey, uh... don't talk when I'm talking. Um, not you. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I think I'll... Uh... I'll, uh, I'll go as the, the main person for this one. Okay. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Point, man, like, woman, like, thing. Yeah, it talks. The thing. Cat. <laughs> All right, so Cinder, you're gonna go out this next this next boost. You guys, yep. uh, you, get, you guys have the advertisement slapped up all around a Aberton. Your opener is the talk of the town. So now um, it is, as, as the middle of the week approaches, we have Cinder going out to try this. Who wishes to join Cinder? Who wishes to be the uh, assist on this one? Man, does anybody have an additional plus one other than just Cinder? Because I don't have an intelligence booster. Yeah, sadly, our intelligence character had to drop out. Just yeah. wing it, bro. Just wing it. <laughs> um, Zach, so in lieu of society, can I use my lore crowds skill? Yeah. 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 Um, because it, I mean, it's still not going to be much because it's an intelligence, but it, it's better than my society. There we go. Yeah. All right. I'll allow it. Cool. Um, okay. Can I argue then that freaking since I was born in the circus, could I use my circuit or my, uh, my, uh, circus lore? Or, you know. Sure. I honestly, I honestly <laughs> don't like the society thing because of exactly what's going on. Um, Cleo, can you get out of my masks? Yes, I know they're in plastic bags that have sharp corners. <laughs> okay. Jesus. 
I bought a bunch of masks, and they're really cool. <laughs> okay, so, so wait. Uh, is it's looking like it's going to be Cinder and Mike this time. All right. Uh, what? How do you two wish to promote? Um, I was gonna go out with my dazzling or my uh, what is it? Not dazzling, dancing lights, and uh, go do some acrobatics and flips and somersaults and stuff. Okay. All right. We're gonna work some crowd with some acrobatics and magic. Or actually, I mean, they did they did freaking somersaults. Yeah. Um, that is true. I guess I think I could just go out with my poi, and uh, uh, for my actual trick, I'll throw them up in the air and and hit them with my uh, hit them with my fox fire to set them on fire and okay. catch them again. All right. Um, and uh, Mike, how do you wish to help? Um. I guess I'm going to be doing uh, some of that, uh, some of that Barker stuff. Like step right up. You you want to see a you know amazing feats of acrobatics and blah 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 blah. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So Do you, you guys head slobber rate. <laughs> Hold on one <laughs> moment. I'm going to go to. I'm going to say. It's uh, it's it's one of the market days. Oh, jeez, she's doing it again. I need to get more wet food. Clearly, I need to get more wet food. Pardon me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> poor kid. <laughs> that poor cat. <laughs> Live, everybody. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny you said that because I literally just watched a freaking gif off of unex the unexpected subreddit of freaking Reddit, and it was someone freaking literally just kind of peeking the phone around a corner and seeing someone get a blow job. Oh. Right as you said, live, everybody. Just glock, glock, glock. <laughs> So uh, this is this is Twitch, and there are certain things that probably should not be talked about. Oh, uh, my such bad. as that. I'm so sorry. I am so um, sorry. So <laughs> yeah, do do uh, be careful in that regard. Uh, try and okay. keep, is, for example, try and keep swearing to like. Well, actually, I don't think they care about swearing as long as it's not like. Completely disgusting. Yeah. As long as it's not like an F word every five minutes. Or so. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So, here is, uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. I am going to. So, yeah, it's a busy market day. Jeez, Cleo. Um, <clears throat> and, um, Mike, uh, as you're trying to get the crowd's attention, they seem to, they seem to look at you and just kind of, uh, ignore the weird, creepy, uh, mushroom thing, which means you get to use your... <laughs> your, your intimidation as part of your carnival barker thing. Oh, yeah. Anger them to get them to pay attention to you two. Hmm. Nag shroom. <laughs> <laughs> you tried farting some spores at them? That shit is rancid. <laughs> oh, God, the imagery that just came to oh, mind. Boy. It's not safe for work. Anyway, <laughs> give, 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 give I... Mike O'Neill a chance to think. <laughs> So I, uh, so yeah, I give an indignant look at these people ignoring 
my my attempts to get their attention and just sort of huff up and just just cloud of spores. And uh let's see here. So then and then I'm gonna cast guidance on myself. Okay. To give me a plus one bonus on my intimidation check. Cloud of spores, huh? Yeah. It's a literal <laughs> mushroom cloud. Yep. And congratulations, you gave, gave them all allergies. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway. It's like all of you disgusting humanoid things, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. Did I spend a hero point on that, or not the um, best one? Sure. Okay. I just, I would like to imagine it's just like a fart noise, and it's just a cloud. <laughs> head. Don't, don't All right, cover right, let... people in it. Just get their attention with it. I'll use it next. <laughs> That's bad. That is much okay. better. All right, so um, let's see here. So the crowd all turns and and looks at you and and, and Cinder, and can I, their attention is fully grasped. Go ahead, Cinder. Can I change what I was gonna do? Yes. Uh, okay, so I actually kind of want to do not too much acrobatics. Uh, or no, I guess, yeah, I'll just go with Poi, but I'm going to I'm gonna specifically light my Poi immediately and try and use as much of the space around me to just sit there and ignite the, por- the spores in the air to create little flashes of light. Okay. Um, let's do a... Let's do a performance roll for that one. Uh, just a d20, right? Oh, no, how you go I, to your skills tab. That? Go to your skills tab. Okay. I'm still new to this. It's okay. okay. Um, find your performance skill. Yep. Yeah. And click on that. Oh, uh, do bear in mind, you will have a plus two modifier. Uh, what do I click on? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Oh, nice. nice. Um, That's a 28. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so that'll be a 28. Oh, and then the bard starts playing, apparently. uh, As you're starting to... (laughs) (laughs) As you're starting to uh, swing the poi. Um, They ignite the little spores... Um, it's small ignitions of, like, some of the larger spores that come out of Myconid. Not, not really enough to turn into, like, a conflagration. Uh, which is good, because that could be bad for both you and Mike. Um, I was thinking of that. Mike looks on... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I said I was thinking of that, but you'll... (laughs) (laughs) Mike looks on in horror. No, my children. (laughs) 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 Jesus. It's for a good cause. (laughs) Oh, boy. Uh, Sorry, go for it. Um, (laughs) All right, so with that, that is uh, yet another... um, Let's get another crit. <clears throat> Pardon me. Nailed um, it. But this time, the primary person has a uh, charisma of four. 18. So, plus, I get a plus four. So I had a charisma sorry, of four. No, sorry. Fuck. Charisma modifier of, of four. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's sorry. okay. It's all right. Um, so with that, uh, let's see... <laughs> Where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> twice the sum of your level. Two plus your charisma modifier. Four is six. <clears throat> All right, so you have we have doubled 
We have doubled the party anticipation. We are now at 12. Now, do bear in mind, one of the things that can happen is if you don't get good enough on your tricks and you don't surpass your anticipation, crap, then bad things happen. Should We should possibly leave it at that, guys. Uh, possibly. <laughs> You could go one more, get yourself a little more moolah at the end of all of this. You like money. I'm down to clown. Anybody else down to clown? I'll, uh, uh, I can, I can support you if you want to go out. Bro, bro, bro. A, a, a barker as well? Uh, I am yeah, down to clown do until we're dead in the ground. <laughs> Actually, you're up in the air, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Mm. Alright. So yeah, I can go, I can head out again with the, you know, these guys. Okay. Alright. So Gaslow is gonna go out and uh Cinder, you're going with Gaslow this time? Oh unless someone else wants to go, I don't mind. Alright, well, mix it up. Little from group A, little from group B, and there we go. I got a big old floofy tail in my face. Um oh. Come on, Cleo, you got this. Go ahead. <laughs> Alright, so... Sorry. Um... Um... Yeah. Are you okay? So... Sorry, one moment, one moment. Okay, she's trying to get into the window so she could look outside. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh, sorry, so Gaslow, go ahead. Alright, so, um... Uh, so I roll for society, or sh can I uh, use a, a lore clown uh, instead? Uh, since you're on the lead, I think we can argue for you to use um, lore clown. All right. Let's get to clowning, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 The perfect oh, you're not like your your privileges are just revoked. <laughs> I, I, I think I should use a hero point, but I kind of want to see how bad that fails because that oh was perfect. Gosh. Oh man, that was perfect. Like you just oh, see me get ready to start like casting a spell to use dancing lights, and like I can just see the like incoming calamity, and I just stop and stand oh, stock still, just like... watching. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, oh God. no! I think yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Come here, oh. Come right here. Come here. <laughs> all that build up, I'm super confident, and all of a sudden, collapse. We should have left it at two guys. There. I charge onto the scene, trip over like a sand. Bump into somebody else and just set the town on fire. Oh, <laughs> All right, it's, it's not. I mean, it's a pretty big failure, but we're not we're not setting the town on fire with an accident here. <laughs> yeah. And freaking uh, as a reaction, if they go to accidentally bump into someone, uh, can they use what's it called? Um. Genie's veil to see if I can't give them uh, concealment to literally blink in and out of existence when they would go to hit the person and kind of phase through them. Just, I don't know, see if we oh. can't give it like some kind of bonus. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't think a bonus is going to happen here. Um, and I'll turn I believe... into a cryptid at that point. It's just like, did you see that clown? What clown? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that um... clown. Okay, so so with your um, it's called Genie's Veil. Yeah, so so that's basically like a um a one. It's like a very short um invisibility spell. It doesn't actually like make them disappear. Um, let me read it because it it gives concealment, but like yeah, the, it gives concealment, but that it. doesn't that doesn't mean they are gone. 
they are conceived. Oh, okay. I see. I see. I yeah. see. I see. I see. Okay. okay. Yes. The equivalent of covering my hands over my eyes. Yeah. Well, everyone goes, else covering yeah, their hands over their eyes for a split second. But yeah. <laughs> my bad. Never mind. All right. I mean. So. Um, Gaslo, this time, uh, you are going forth to, uh, try and entertain the crowd, and unfortunately, this time, you trip over your <laughs> third hand, uh, your third arm, um, <laughs> stepping on it with Clap. a, uh, and, and with maybe a, a cry or a bark of pain, I don't know what Gaslow the clown does, clown does when he, when he's hurting, or they're he hurting, honks, honks yeah. with a honk of pain, Except it sounds a lot less fun and playful, a little more like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and um, eventually, Gaslo and Cinder return with no more anticipation built. Um, and uh, uh, Gaslo needing attendance from Viamala for a broken nose. <laughs> oh darling oh darling oh darling quits while you're ahead i can't i'm doing this for too long <laughs> gotta bring out that head, bicycle pump head, for that nose oh god it looks like gaslo needs a hand <laughs> i got one bro you've that got three but who's counting I use my wings to shoo everybody away so that I can attend the reading <coughs> nose. Okay. So, uh, Gaslow's anatomy is particularly strange. Uh, about as strange as Gaslow, but uh, with some uh, prodding and some tending, uh, we will have you make a uh, healing check. Do, 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 do. Or a medicine check, rather. It's just drooping down a little bit more. It's just an eggplant. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it, it takes a little bit of work because uh, 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 whoever or whatever made Gaslow like this uh, did, did a lot. Um, and you are able to heal Gaslow's uh, broken nose. Yay. Hmm. Just um, stick something. <laughs> step on his foot, his nose gets bigger, but his foot gets crushed. <laughs> All right. So, uh, with that, that means uh, everybody has managed to uh, get a total of 12 anticipation ready for the evening's performance. Yay! Your children did not die in vain. Like, I really quite interesting. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, with that, uh, you have spent all your time that you can trying to uh, get generate buzz in this town mm -hmm. and now it is time oh do I have to turn that off I'm gonna have to turn it off aren't I fine there we go yeah, because apparently the music will play over sound effects and stuff. So, that's a little weird, but okay. Learning experience, I suppose. And yes, it is now starting the day of the circus. Now, of course, there is always stuff going on prior to the events. You might spend your earlier the earlier part of the day before the show in the big top 
practicing with your animals or, or leading them around. Maybe doing flips throughout the thoroughfare. All sorts of things. But eventually, at times, it, it, it comes time to get to the big top. In fact, with that being the case, I'm going to cut to intermission. Because I got a pee. How long do we have? Uh, let's, um, five minutes good for everybody? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. While you do do that, your Milo's gonna walk around and encourage all of the children to eat all of the cotton candy. Yes. Yeah. By the way, at some point, uh, we couldn't afford cotton candy this time. I spiked the cotton candy. Oh god. We have some basic stuff, but yeah, as far as like modifying things with uh, extra confections, no, we we couldn't. But yes. Um. We can't. We can't do shit like enchant it. I would like. I want to freaking. No. I want no to sell fucking. I want to sell candy that sets people's heads on fire. Not really, but just like. Oh my lord! All right, I'm cutting to intermission. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs>
I think the audio audio is probably still going on the uh, like live feed. I think it it takes a moment. Uh, There's always a slight delay. That's why I try to have mine. I'd like check it every now and then, but yeah. <clears throat> okay. And we. Oh, ow. Is that a, okay, I think I'm just. All right. So, it's the day of the performance. Things are getting ready to move. The show is about to begin. Mike Onid is warming up his voice. People are Here, still... Mala, making sure everyone's costumes are actually secure. <laughs> Everybody is running around. The professor has a look of nervousness about him. All right, all right. Um, are you sure, Felix, that your your hat will not catch fire if Mr. Kitty gets too close to you? Right? I've had it treated. Oh, okay. All right. Um, has anybody checked uh, the nets for um, for 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 the Featherfall Five? Has anybody checked the nets? Uh, I'm I not can sure do so. Would it would it get in the way the of net the net from performing? Um. Uh, no, we're, we're, we're not beginning just yet. Uh, go ahead and run and uh, check them. So, uh, just to be sure, I'm going to use Detect Magic first on the nets. Okay. Just um, to be extra sure. Well, here, here, here is the uh, thing. Um, you run around to where the nets are sto stored. Essentially, there's supposed to be a um, a rope that's pulled, and then you know pulley system engages, and the nets spring out for the performance. But they're also not kept that way all the time, so that they don't get in the way, and especially with people like throwing fire and stuff like that. Okay. Um, you rush around to where the nets are stored. Um, and you find that the nets have been gnawed through. Oh, in multiple areas. Um, I will immediately run back. People know, considering I probably can't fix it myself. Um, what do? 
Um, well, you could go in and form the Featherfall Five. They might oh. want to know. <laughs> yeah, of, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I'll let them know. Okay. And uh, I can. Uh, who would be able to repair it in the troop? No one right now. It's the day of the show. Mm -hmm. And unless we had 20 gold for safety nets again, uh, we couldn't afford it. Mm. So the feather, you rush up to the Featherfall 5. And um, they're, they're busy stretching, limbering up. They are a... Um, the uh, Kanbao family. Is that Bao or Bali? Oh, Kanbali family. Um, they're from uh, Mwangi, and uh, they're quite agile. They're in the middle of stretches, doing things that would probably make my hip joints cry out in pain just by looking at them um, when you rush up to them. Hey guys, Cinder. so. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, what is wrong? So, uh, I went to inspect the nets, and it looks like they've been gnawed through in several places. I don't know if it would be safe. Nope, oh, we lost David. Yeah. Oh, is it that time, David? What? No, I'm still here. Uh, On fantasy, fantasy grounds. Oh, did I get booted? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's two people? Um, yeah, uh, Darren's gone too. Ah. Oh, I mean, no, oh. no, no. Mike's right there. Oh. Mike's right there. What am I saying? Um, I'm able to oh, oh, Mr. Over. Kitty yes. and and Felix would have disappeared. So. Uh, oh, I see. Hold on. Yeah. Well, anyway. Um, okay. No, that is... It's too dangerous. Um, oh Jesus! Don't want the don't shake the wire there. We certainly cannot perform hunting without the nets. Hmm. Are we gonna have oh. to change up our performance? Well, um. It could add a little bit more uh, excitement, but perhaps if we had Via Mala on call. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we do have a cleric and mm -hmm. a druid, although he is performing. I don't know about that. Um. Does somebody want to? Perhaps. See if they can convince them to do it for the show. Uh, what, the show must go on? I mean... I can... It would be a diplomacy check. Oh, I, I'm not trained in it, but I have a plus four. Mm. Damn, if it was my dump stat, I'd change that <laughs> out for stealth. I can try. Okay. <laughs> Cleo is always trying to make diplomacy checks. Because she's cute and fluffy. Well, the thing is, she, does, she doesn't have to try to make it. Ah, That's there's it. Felix. There he is. All right. So, um, Mike, what do you say to them? Okay, I'm casting guidance on myself because we're going to need all the help we can get. Like, you can't let a little setback like this stop you. The show must go on. The show must go on, my friends. <laughs> yeah, like that, except, you know, not cringy. <laughs> Break a leg. Timing. <laughs> Punctuated by the cat. Um, okay, Mike, go ahead and roll. Oh, oh, there you go. Nice. Ooh. Yes. 
And they steal themselves right. and, um... Well, this is our first performance. I guess we better, um... Best to make it a good one. Huh. Hmm. So... Mala, please be ready, just in case. Of course. Hey, Zach. Yes. I want to go and take a look at those ropes. And why don't we still use them? Yeah, just in case. But they they might fail, but they'll probably at least break their fall partially. Worst case okay. scenario, just do a crafting check. Mm. I don't think uh, you're going to need a lot more than just a crafting check. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so you said it looked like the, the, the rope was a nod through in several places. Mm-hmm. Okay, so looking around and seeing if there's, like, any signs of what did it. Are there, like, animal tracks or... Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. I also do so. I probably should have done so earlier. Uh, Mike is the one who's there currently. There might be other crises to take care of before things... Uh. Okay. <laughs> bit different. <laughs> I guess you just throw uh, those zero points do, 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 do. out there. Well, that's what they're for. Yes, yes. Okay, alright. Me? The kitty. Yeah, you hear the kitty. No. My cat's the same way. Alright, so. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, uh, looking over the nets, um, it looks like, like they were not through, um, quite thoroughly by something with tiny teeth. Hmm. What are you doing, Cleo? What's up? Looking for more rope. I say rats, man. Rats or mice or some variant of rodent. Or very, very small kobolds. Go ahead. I don't think they would do that. I think they would just steal them. <laughs> yeah, but why would rats chew through rope? Why not? Chew through everything. Go ahead. I think the better question you should be asking is, why specifically this rope? There's plenty of rope around the uh, big top, if you haven't noticed. And I point to the uh, the riggings for, like, the tent and stuff. Why don't we check there as well? See if they're not on. Oh, something about this seems really sus. You think there may be an imposter among us? I call it an emergency meeting. <laughs> <laughs> We're not playing Among Us right now. Oh, aren't we? <laughs> Just wait until we start finding dead bodies all over the place. Well, that uh, wouldn't be a first. Well, that's true. It is the surgeons. I had to clean up after the trapeze artists back in the menagerie, so... Some stains um, just don't wash out after a while. Oh, I heard about that. Honestly, I would have thrown up if I had a stomach. <laughs> I didn't have a stomach either. Good. What? I thought humanoids came with stomachs. Sometimes I'm a clown! <laughs> it's just a st dead stare. <laughs> yeah, I, I return to stare with all of my insectoid eyes just not blinking. <laughs> I'm gonna look at all of you guys and sit there and cross my eyes and kind of wiggle my head back and forth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the smile spreads wider as it stares even deeper. <laughs> I am a clown. <laughs> okay. Puff out a cloud of spores. <laughs> he farted. 
This is my circus, and these are my monkeys. <sighs> I'm a fox. <laughs> Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. All right. Yes, but not while I'm doing this. <laughs> I know. You want to be the center of attention, but that is not that, that, that's not the thing for today. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should run around and make sure that nothing else has been chewed through by rats. Yeah, I, yes. I, I said that. Good day. Okay. Good Everybody idea. on the reception check. <coughs> Alright. So, uh, one moment. I do need to check on something. Cleo, yeah. baby, but not there. <laughs> the phrase "Kitty, I love you, but you're being annoying" comes to mind. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so you guys are uh, going out looking for any more trouble? We yeah. are an investigation. All right. So what do I roll? Should I just roll perception or? One moment. Let's see here. Okay, so as you are all looking around, um, there does seem to be a bit of trouble. <clears throat> In fact, I get the bubble. Oh, God. Uh, Which god are you invoking? Don't, don't say it. Don't, don't say it. I'm also going to um, bring up uh, a map for you guys. Not because we're going to enter combat, but because I want to be able to point things out. Now, you should all be able to see it completely. Is that correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. So here is a rough map of the big top. The areas with all the curtains. That is, of course, backstage. Um, there are cages, wagons of supplies, and stuff like that. Um, sifting, uh, looking around Felix, um, Mr. Kitty, uh, ever at your side, lets out a low growl when you get closer to the, um, audience stands over on the right. Um. And it's around that time that you see a number of people starting to jerk out of their seats and uh, gasp in surprise and go, ah, ah, snakes, snakes. And um, it looks like it's a small murmur, but these are the sort of things that can totally get out of hand quickly if panic begins to spread. Oh. So, uh, can I use my perception check to see what's actually coming out of the bleachers? No, oh, whatever. I pressed the wrong button. Um. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, I gotta shut down now. Hold on. Okay. Um. Yeah, Cinder, go ahead and use a perception check as well. I'm I'm kind of running between di different people, and uh, Mike, I'm going to say you're noticing the same thing around the same time as uh, Felix and Mr. Kitty. Snakes. Um, people moving and saying and, and saying snakes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Cinder, you're looking at the uh, you're you're looking over at stage left. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're All over right. there looking at stage left. All right, hold on. Should I, um, should I roll a perception check as well to see if I see the snakes or not? Well, wait, or, first um, just roll a general perception check because there's other stuff that you might need to perceive. 
All right. But I'm going to I'm going to run with uh, this being um, Mike and Felix. All right. Oh, Felix dipped out again. Yeah. Uh, he he's going to be on his way to work, so he will be communicating by phone. And uh, oh, okay. Virmala, you are staying backstage to be ready for possible injuries. Um, hmm. I'm looking the wrong way. I'm going to have you make a perception check as well. <laughs> Got to pick up the right. It's so weird not, not having... Oh, whoops, that's the wrong person. There we go. That was our former interpersonality. Uh, oof. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, David, are you able to speak at all? <clears throat> yeah, for a few more minutes. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's a cry of snakes. You and Mike have caught it, uh, seen it. What will you do? Uh, have Mr. Kitty uh, dive under the stands and, and start hunting out anything moving. Okay. So you're going to sick Mr. Kitty on the snakes? Yep. Sheets up since. Let's see here. Mr. Kitty begins to stalk. Okay. And tries to sniff them out. Now, with this, can I minimize? No, I can't. Of course. Of course not. Okay. And, uh,. Okay, so Mr. Kitty is, is heading under the um, is heading under the stands. Um, if he does go after the uh, the snake wherever it is, there might be some difficulty um, because those those stands are crowded. People might want to move out of the way. Uh, Mike, do you want to try and convince them to get the heck out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so basically I am going to try to use deception to trick them into thinking that it's all part of the pre-show shenanigans. And they need some crowd participation. Yeah. All right, do it. Okay. Um, so the, the crowd kind of calms down a little bit and they stand up and they move aside. Some of them are kind of nervously laughing and, um, I am going to have, uh, I'm going to have a nature check done by Felix. Um, I just have to open up his character sheet again. Alright. And then we need uh, to see. Oh dear. <clears throat> Alright. So you catch sight of the snake. Just as um, Mr. Kitty pounces. That wasn't a roll. <laughs> okay. 
was pretty good. All right, so Mr. Kitty uh, pounces on the stands, kind of kind of scrambles up between the gaps in the bleachers with the snake in his mouth, and then and then um, gives it a shake, and the fire emitting from about Mr. Kitty burns it up, and it kind of burns to cinders, and two parts fall away. The crowd lets out a Kitty. sigh of relief. And that crisis, at least, is over. Yay! Right. Yay! <laughs> okay. I'm just like, turn around, hey, what happened? <laughs> Um, let's see here. So let's see. There's that. And I did need to take a look at one of these things. Um, oh, oh wrong one. Uh, be right back. I'm going to use the restroom real quick. Certainly. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's take a quick peek. Over at the other end, we have Gazlo and Cinder. Cinder, you're a little distracted by the ruckus over on, on the uh, right side of the ring, I mean of the big top but Gaslo you notice something oh 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 um <clears throat> from oh. the stands to the left closest to you and Cinder you spy a apparently already drunken couple um, jeering and deriding people who are trying to tell them, quiet down, quiet down. Um, and it is quickly looking like they are about to get into a brawl in the stands over there. Somebody was a bit too loose with the beer. Looks like this is a job for Senator Cream Pie. Please tell me I have a cream pie I can use here. Oh my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I would not begrudge a clown of their... <laughs> Sorry. I said I do. Damn you, Taryn. Uh, <laughs> it was right there. I know. <laughs> All right, so what do you do? What do you do, Gazlo? I am going to go, and I'm going to sneak up on them 
with a cream pie, and I'm going to cream pie both of them in the face. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. Ooh! Come on, Shimon. Woo! Wow. <laughs> That's very nice. They are, like, they, they are red-faced now. They've apparently, as you get close, you see that they have they have flasks of stuff that's probably stronger than beer. There's a reason why it's just beer that's sold at the circus. You don't want people getting truly wasted. Um, and they are red-faced. They are yelling at each other. I don't need to be quiet. This town has been going through hell. You we know who I am? Man. I have to we... speak with your manager. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just a Karen. They're just a bunch of Karens. One one dude's drunk and it's like fucking Karen. <laughs> God. And the I other also... one, uh, her her apparent husband is like uh, doing that thing where he's like expecting to be held back, but no one's doing it. But he doesn't want to <laughs> go forward with fight just yet. Um. And yeah, they are so not seeing you. Um, go ahead and let's do, let's do an unarmed strike. This is obviously not going to be lethal. And I they, hope she, he has to get some kind of bonus. He just completely snuck so up on them. So like a D4 or D6? They, completely they, yes, yes. They, they, that, that would be, they are flat-footed. <laughs> ah. So, okay, so. um. I would say their foot so is probably doing quite a lot of wobbles. Do I roll a d6? You, you don't roll either. You have to roll your attack. Oh, 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 okay. So, yeah. like, to hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm, All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this will... Oh, hold on. What? Sorry, so, you were, you were probably essentially doing a non-lethal flurry of blows. Ooh! One to yeah. either of them. So, go ahead and make an attack with the plus seven and the plus... Th Three, we will. I will just manually figure out the plus two. I could do. I could do at least that much basic addition. I hope. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Boop. And, uh, oh, that's not too bad. Boop. <laughs> that should hit. They don't have any armor on. Let's see. Um, I could I could expend uh, two hero points to just uh, if it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, might want to do that. Even with the plus two bonus, you're you're. Do I use uh, really? one or two hero points? Um, it's gonna be for both attacks, so I'm gonna say uh, two. Okay. Let's but, try this again. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Now that That's is much, much better. better. And that's also much better than you previously did. And now oh, cool. those two are good enough to hit. So, um, I'll just come up and just pie them both in the face simultaneously and just disappear. Whispering, you just got clowned, bro. <laughs> <sighs> so they are shocked uh also you basically critted uh let's see probably the probably the karen with the pie oh, oh yeah so so um here's my manager <laughs> Uh, she, you, you got it like just square in her face. It's like the perfect cream pie you could have asked for. Oh, oh, fuck! Oh. Pardon my language. Oh, implications. Um, yes, yes, perfect pie in the face <laughs> you could ask for. Thank you, internet. All over. You didn't Flying use your third. Side. You didn't use your uh, third limb, did you? I, I'm imagining. I'm imagining. Um, if you if you don't mind my saying, I'm imagining Gaslo going up, right to the to to the 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 Karen, a left to the to the man, and then with the third arm just going, you you just got clown and holding it behind 
by his mouth as he stage whispers. <laughs> That's my yeah. mental image, but Gaslow, if you want to do something. Yes, yes, that's perfect. <laughs> Just the third hand. <laughs> with with how awesome that that uh that cream pie was, we ought to change Gazlo's name to Johnny Sims. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> I need a cigarette after that one. <laughs> um, so, so. Jesus, Darren. You know. Take it. Take, take the hero point. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. <laughs> do not like the roof squire. No, I do not. Okay. Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> All right. So, with that, it seems you have found a, a number of um, irritating incidents, and, and the show is getting ready to open up last of the seats are being filled in and Virmala you notice Myron he stumbles towards you reaching out Myron Thunder Stendhal. There we go. He stumbled towards you, reaching out. You see his face growing blue and purple. Uh-oh. And it begins to swell up. Oh, crap. He had oh. to turn up ale. Oh, God. Okay. So, I want to roll a medicine check to see if I can tell what's going on with him. Is it that he's choking, or does it look like he's poisoned? Medicine! It's hard to say. You gotta, you gotta examine him a little bit more. Um, he's He falls on the ground and starts to writhe. Um, in a way that is making it very clear that, at the very least, um, he's probably not choking. This spasm is a bit closer to some yes. sort of poison. Okay. Um, can you remind me on my spell list? I don't think I've got anything that's uh, difficult. Uh, heal heals hit points, not poison. Uh, um, sorry. I thought the heal skill could at least like do something about the, the poison. No, that would be more like like uh, doing a compression or something. But I mean, like if he had a like if he had a bite, then maybe I could like suck out the the bite site, well, the heal and spit skill out the venom. But if he's actually knowledge. ingested it, the heal skill right? Is but I've already good. rolled oh, okay, my right. Yeah. So I don't. My medical wouldn't have told me just how far it is. I think go. Okay. He is shaking on the ground, frothing at the mouth. A scream goes up, but um, and.
and then he stops and is still. He needs some milk. Who's closest to me from the uh, from the troop? Uh, from the troop, you see um, the professor rushing over pretty quickly. Okay, good. Good. I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees him then. Oh, wait. We gotta get him out of here. We need to move him. Okay. <clears throat> the professor um, motions to a few roustabouts. Put him away. Get him out of sight. Yes, please. No. I want to take a quick scan of the area and see if anyone is actually looking with interest. Somebody that doesn't look... Somebody that looks suspicious. Okay. Um, let's see here. We'll do... We'll do a... Perception, I think. Or... Yep. Nope. That was not intentional. Cat, press the button. <laughs> here's here's the kitty in question for anybody viewing at home. <sighs> but did I roll the seventeen though? Yes, you did. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I've done crit by cat. Um, no, no. Uh, uh, Cleo rolled a die off onto the main body of the thing. It didn't actually pop up. But then I oh. then I rolled a perception check for Virmala, and lo and behold, it was a seventeen. <laughs> Your cat is clairvoyant. <laughs> oh, Cleo. Um, you catch uh, near the tent where um, where Myron was preparing. He was, you know, kind of doing his vocal warm ups. He was he was getting all ready for getting out there into the audience. Um, you see the slither of a tail slipping under the tent and away. Okay, and the professor is still, like, right next to me? Yeah, well, he, he saw what was going on and started hurrying over to you as much as his elderly frame could manage. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna quickly squeeze his shoulder and say, get help, and then I'm gonna go after that tail. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you I just want to tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, understandable. Um, a number of performers, uh, you duck under the tent, um, and head out after the tale. Your perception is good and you act fast, so you're able to see a snake, uh, one uh, with a lot of colors on it, um, slithering away. Meanwhile, the professor heads over and um, tries to motion to uh, Tuck Buckerford, um, who has been just <laughs> handling the animals behind the scenes today, um, mutters something to the halfling, and uh, the halfling rushes off towards... Um, Myron, and then he looks around the crowd and Mike he moves forward towards you, Mike, as you are uh, returning from your little adventure with the snake yeah. Snake adventures I think the I think Myron is dead. Wait, what? What as happened? He as he speaks, the lights go down. There's no time. 
can't let anybody out there know that something like this has happened. He plucks a hat off of one of the wandering, uh, a nearby halfling that's been wandering around, puts it on you. You're the ringmaster today. Since yeah. You're the first Paula, did she just get promoted? You can worry about who will, what will happen after, but you need to get out there and get the show moving. Ah, right, just relax. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Well, except for poor Myra. But yeah. for everybody else, it's going to be fine. <laughs> Vimala is after whatever did it, I think. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Okay. So, so in tandem is oh. getting the show started. Virmala is going to do her best to continue to, to follow it. If she has to, she's going to take to the air and then she's going to point to Tuck to where he needs to go while the show is still going. We're going to chase this damn thing down. Okay. This is getting intense. So, um... Virmala, you are rushing forward um, <clears throat> using your... Let's see here. What does your... You have the nestling fall. You have the wings. The wings. Um, it helps you lo uh, travel longer distances. You move an additional five feet when leaping horizontally. Oh yeah, this is... Huh? Oh, uh... Let's see here. Dogchart said, uh, couldn't Bacon follow the snake? Since yeah. Bacon can fly. Yeah. I think Bacon could. Um, real quick. For our viewers, this is Bacon. And for the people, Bacon is a leaf fleshy that belongs to Tuck Buckerford, who is the party's druid and is absent for uh, probably maybe a couple weeks. We'll see. Um, and Bacon flies. I do believe his first modifications of Bacon were flying and manipulating things. Yep. So he could hand people apples. Mm-hmm. Apples of tastiness and healing. Okay. So, um, if you're Mala, you're using your wings to gain some, um, gain some ground. So you will be when jumping, when moving horizontally. Oh, jeez. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, lay down. <laughs> Jeez. So demanding. Nice. Oh, nice. Computer, turn on the lamp. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're laying on the black light. I should probably turn that off so I don't get a shock of pity. Be a little awkward. Yeah. Probably one of those things that should not be, uh, uh, would not make me a good cat owner. Okay. So, um, with bounding leaps, um, Virmala rushes after the snake, and, uh, while, while Bacon keeps an eye up above, um, Tuck Buckerford stops to inspect the ringmaster and um, frowns and shakes his head to any of the surrounding performers. Meanwhile, the, mu the music starts up, or at least what little you guys are able to co conjure together for your very first show. Actually, no, we're going to go with this one. And Mike 
Onid, it's your turn to take the stage. All right, so here's what's going to happen. While the lights are uh, down low, uh -huh. I am going to use my uh, my illus illusory object spell to create a 20-foot... Let's see, it's a 20-foot burst. So I'm just going to create what looks to be like a small forest of uh, exotic-looking mushrooms. Okay. And while the, the lights are dimmed, I'm going to take my place in those mushrooms. And when the music starts, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights and have the lights sort of hovering in the air, weaving around in shapes to get the crowd's attention. And then they're going to go down and swarm and circle around the, uh, the mushroom forest. Okay. All right. Can I add give my me own a dancing lights for that? Like behind the scenes, just kind of like freaking up in the air. W whatever, it doesn't matter. It's your thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can assist um, with dancing lights. Uh, go ahead and both of you roll uh, performance checks for me. Right? Where are you? There you are. No! Not me? Oh, one sec. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. That's a lot better. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Cinder, you're able to get your dancing lights to to move around in tandem with Mike's performance, and the crowd. Sorry, I have to weave my hand through fur to find the icons on my taskbar. Um, oh, I need to turn that up. Hold on a moment. So as as Mike, as you get the uh, little forest of mushrooms going, there's a gasp among the crowd. Um, and then as the lights start going... <laughs> the crowd oohs and awes, and you clearly have their attention with a wonderful introduction. All right. <coughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything else in between and beyond, we wish to welcome you to the Circus of Wayward Wonders! And at that point, I'm gonna have the, uh, the, uh, mushroom forest to sort of, like, burst apart into, like, a, f a like, a cloud of spores, which dissipates and leaves me there. <laughs> All right. Very good. Very good. The crowd lets out a cheer... <laughs> as um, as you make your grand appearance. Well, good about that. <laughs> is, is that uh, is that Gumbo? <laughs> yeah, he's in my lap, and uh, his paw keeps stretching out and almost hitting the keyboard. The wonderful <laughs> world of pets, everyone. The wonderful world of pets. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Okay, so this will... I am getting messages that I believe are from Felix. Ah, yes, excellent. <laughs> this is an unfortunate circumstance of adulthood. We have some people who must uh, depart at certain points, or arrive at certain points, so we make do. Um, but Felix says, Bravi! Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Oh, he dangs. Okay, let's see here. Huh, all right. That's something else right now. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so that was an excellent opener there. Uh, let's see here. Where did I put it? Sh circus show sheet. Oh, wait, no, that's the blank one. Oh, my. Let me move my mouse around, damn it. There we go. There we go. I need to put, go ahead and put this here. Okay. So, with the, with the opener, Um, you have gotten the crowd's attention. They are cheering. And that is an excellent opening. However, you still have your performance. Ah, yes. The performance. Okay. So, basically, Mike is going to be singing a Fantasy World adaptation of, uh, the song Late Night Double Feature from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Is he, is he gonna is he gonna have just a pair of lips just just sitting in the darkness? <laughs> mm. <laughs> actually I could actually I very well could do that. Cause uh, I can cast another illusionary illusionary object and duration is 10 minutes so i could actually have that and have it lip sing along with you yep because it says here that it that the uh image can be animated hey you know why not props to gaz for excellent idea yes all right well mike Let's get that, uh, let's get that performance. Okay. Do, do, do. And we're doing another hero point. Okay. There we go. That is much better. All right. So, uh, you open up with singing. Um, <laughs> uh, I, alas, I can't play that song. Otherwise, copyright strikes. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. Otherwise, it'll back. Oh. Uh, one moment. Oh, wait. No, I already have an extra... Yeah, drink. Now, now I just have to take the time to make a cover, an actual like fantasy cover of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go smoke part of a cigarette. Is that all right? My yes, go, go, go. Yeah, do it. It's only part of one. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> yeah, cat. Rub your belly. Let's see here. Uh, just reviewing oh, things. Uh, I'm gonna need a unicycle for the next scene when I come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 
So, um, oops, sorry. All right. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so. Come here. I will have to work on this a little bit better. Alright, and you get a third and final action to lead into the next act. Mm. What was the next act? The next act is going to be uh, Felix and Mr. Kitty and Gaslow. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna switch the music up a bit. And does that require another check? Yes, some sort of check. It doesn't necessarily have to be performance if you can convince me to do something else. Eh, performance is probably my best number, so... Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So, after I get done singing, I'll hold for the applause. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was expecting like you to have an applause track. Oh, sorry, I was. Uh, uh, um... There well, we go. I, uh, <laughs> I can't clap. <laughs> okay, you hold for applause. The crowd applauds at the end of your tr at the end of your wonderful song. We've got a wonderful show for you tonight. All sorts of excitement and daring do's and acrobatic feats of amazement that will blow your minds into smithereens. To start everything off, we're going to go with the fiery cat and his master, Felix. <clears throat> oh yeah, and there's a clown too. <laughs> I say for comedic effect. <laughs> you just hear me cackling in the background. Uh, okay, I believe we have... Okay. <laughs> uh, Felix says, uh, I'm assuming to Gaslo, uh, how do you feel about being set on fire? Uh, that depends. Is it hot fire or cold fire? Hot. Hot. <laughs> hmm. That might be kind of burning. But I can adapt, baby. I can I can adapt, possibly. Okay. I know, I feel like uh, I think I certainly can blaze another one tonight. Ooh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Four twenty blazer. Oh jeez. <laughs> So yeah, oh, and I rolled my performance. Uh, I, yes. I, I should, I should, uh, oh, should yeah. I roll my performance now or? Uh, well, that was that was the last of uh, Mike's uh, things. So we are now moving in to the build-up show. Uh, right. I am waiting currently for um, David to finish typing something. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, I'm watching. You, you just had to sit up now. You see, when you were laying down, I... I... All right. How about you unicycle up onto the high onto a high beam while Mr. Kitty chases you? In addition to that, should I juggle at the same time, brother? Ooh. Sure. All righty! Let's get this on. <laughs> Juggling and unicycling. Ooh, my two Make it a comedy act. 
<laughs> Comet is my middle name, brother. Roll uh athletics or for uh, unicycling or mm. or would that be performance? Uh unicycling mm. that's all about balance. So I'm gonna say that's acrobatics. Okay. So combination acrobatics and performance. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll yeah. do that. Acrobatics and performance. Alright, so uh, um, and then you're yeah. moving of course, so uh, moving Ooh. around, going up on a high beam. Okay, so the acrobatics is good. You nice. you've got oh. the um, Nice. Okay. Woo! All right. So, um, Mr. Kitty rushes after you as you are uh, unicycling your way up the beam. How are you reacting as this fiery kitty Chase. I am juggling pins like nobody's business and try not to catch my ass on fire. Fair, fair. Uh, for those not in the know, uh, this is Mr. Kitty. Filet of feline. Filet of feline? That that's that's brutal. <laughs> More like filet rather, of rather, clown. Flambe line. Flambe, this is probably the yeah. Yeah. Flambe, uh, I guess it's more clown flambe because she's going after, or he's going after you. Misty Kitty keeps pace just behind, not too close. Flambe, I have the filet. Okay. So technically it would be a flambe kitty and a filet of clown. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, Mr. Kitty is um, chasing after you. Uh, clearly not going full speed. Um, <laughs> at least clearly to you, because you've seen how fast this cat can run. Oh, yeah. I think I might be feeling a little bit overconfident if it's not, like, coming fast enough. I might turn around and give it, like, a taunt or something. Just to... Yeah. Would that be, um... What count under taunting? Would that be a, uh... It's, it's something in charisma, but like uh, not intimidation. Uh... Diplomacy. Oh, diplomacy. There's okay. even a there's even a uh, a uh, skill feat that's based off of uh, taunting your opponents in under the diplomacy. All right, I'm gonna do I'm do, gonna do throw a diplomacy check to uh, taunt the cat. Okay. No, uh, 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 I'm unless that unless that wins. Um, let's see. Uh, one second. I don't think it does unless you want to. Um, I'm gonna spend a hero point. Yeah, you gotta you gotta make a splash on this opening night performance. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> so we're let's gonna see. hit diplomacy. Do, 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 do. This is oh. making impression. <laughs> oh, that's cool. did, wait, did it not catch? Or did no, it, not it roll? did. You you did not roll. You did not roll. All right. Well, that's good because it hit a four. That's even. <laughs> um. You know, I wonder. Hold on a moment. Allies, coerce. Wouldn't taunt be more like coerce? With threats either failed or revert, you attempt to bully a creature. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you said it was a feat. That's right. You're yeah, right. yeah, it's a skill um, feat. I think it's called like Bon Mott or something. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So it adds to the action. Okay. For anybody still watching, um, all of us are. A lot of us are veteran uh, gamers. All of us are new to Pathfinder Second Edition. We've played a played through a module for 
about a month and a half, I think it was, six weeks, we went through Something like that. Uh, Fall of Plaguestone to kind of get ready for this. But it's the circus. Nothing can prepare you for the circus. Um, okay, so uh, Gaslow, your your third and final action doesn't quite uh, do much to stir the crowd um, or, or, or help uh, Mr. Kitty's performance. Uh, however, you did open very strongly. Um, Felix, during all of this, is keeping watch and uh, cracking his whip. Um, I, I'm probably calling taunts to tell uh, uh, Mr. Kitty to get him. Get him! <laughs> I just blew all my action there. I could have I could have pied the cat in the face. Uh, uh yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say performance there, uh David. Um uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll run with that. Um yeah. Oof. Um how about I use one of your hero points. <laughs> Acro for Kitty. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try that again with, with the performance. Oof. That was another rough one. No. You want to try and go for one more? All right. I mean, they're meant to be used. Oh, boy. Now I have both cats here, and they don't like each other. Hey, hey. No fighting. <laughs> oh, you're going to love that. Alas, it seems not to be as we get a 10. Um, they're a lot more focused on Mr. Kitty, um, probably for good reason. Uh, Mr. Kitty's going to try with acrobatics. That is a lot better. Um, and then... Uh, so let's see, we have a... Failed perform. Let me let me see here. Hold on. Uh, Got to get a cat out of my way. Go on. Go on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> get. I love you, but go. <laughs> Nala started coming around. I'm like I am not going to deal with the cat fight on my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kitty, voiced by Nala. <laughs> Nala's actually super quiet. It's really shocking whenever she does make noise, which she only does when she gets uh, um, gets the midnight crazies. She'll actually chase her tail. Ah, Cleo, Cleo, corrected to Cleo. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, the zoomies. Mm-hmm. Gotta love the zoomie hours. Gotta love the zoomies. Um, okay, so Mr. Kitty got a good acrobatics. Where is my... Oh, nope, that's story. I don't want that one. All right, I fixed that one, so good. Um, all right, so... Um, all right, so we have... Uh, one, two... <laughs> <clears throat> That's not what I want. All right. Um, Felix and Mr. Kitty. We got 10. Not 27. I think it was 20. No, 17. 17, right? Yes. All right. 
All right, so um, Felix and Mr. Kitty. Uh, Mr. Kitty is doing a good job of uh, being acrobatic about his chasing um, Gaslo as he uh, occasionally stops and does that, that cat wiggle the butt thing and then pounces only to fall just short of the juggling clown. Um, and Gaslo, you you got a couple good rolls there. Um, all right, so um, Felix, you have one more um, attempted trick to pull or attempted action to do. I think that's that's what I'm. Yeah. Um, how do you want to play this out? I'm not sure if David heard me. Uh, he's still muted, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Oh, okay. Never mind. All right, well, to keep things moving, he's probably uh, getting off a bus or something. I am going to say, um, we're gonna do kind of a tangent thing. Uh, we're gonna see him go with the nature to, screw it. He'll get him back later. Um, now that's much better. Oh, there he goes. I'm not surprised. Okay. Uh, so he does the uh, nature thing, which will be an assist on Mr. Kitty. And Mr. Kitty will... Do -do -do -do. Um, that will trigger that will trigger yeah we'll go we'll go with that oh my god that was another natural 20 but it didn't show up in the thing I'm I'm running with it. I'm running with it. I'm running with it. Um, oh, there do we is. have him back. Yes, we do. Yep, okay. Back. Um. Okay. So uh, since since uh, apparently audio is lost for you, um, what I did was I I did spend your last hero point, but you got a nat twenty. And then Mr. Kitty rolled a nat 20. So what I was going to do is you let off a... Um, you gave a uh, uh, a signal, basically, to Mr. Kitty, who, after that pounce, let out a loud leopardy snarl. I don't know if leopards snarl, but we're going to say it's a nice, loud, impressive snarl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, um, and it was perfectly timed as as Gaslo, you're able to kind of circle around and come to a stop. And because because Mr. Kitty is trained, he can even do a sort of weird cat bow, which is really just a stretch, which he probably would have done anyway, as the performance comes to an end. I'd like to imagine that, like, he just, like, the cat's just letting off a, a woof of flame as he's bending over and his ass just catches fire. <laughs> runs <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> uh, no. on fire. 
fire. <laughs> this, this, this poor cat suffered enough with his his whole fire thing. <laughs> I mean, he has it under control for now, so there's at least that. He can drink water still, so that's good. Um, okay. All right. So with that. Uh. Okay, now with that, we move back to Virmala. Virmala, you are yeah. catching up yes. to this snake. Uh, do, 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 do. I am going to go ahead and minimize that. I'm going to go ahead and open. Mm -hmm. A quick question about the Strix. Certainly. Would my character at all be enticed to attempt to eat this thing if she was hungry enough? <laughs> um, you know, I don't know, so I'll leave that up to you. Um, let me see here. From what I can gather, does it look like the snake is just simply, like, casually attempting to leave the area, or does it look like it's beelining? Um, it looks like it is leaving. Um, like it's gotten away from the thing that it did. Um... One moment. I've got to open another thing up. Uh, so, you will get to, well, or rather, I will, on your behalf, um, get to roll initiative for you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> As it's okay, I've got a to be. Apparently, Dexter thought that it was time to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Back up. Okay. No, oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Cleo. Again. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. All right, so, Virmala. We're going to do an initiative as you dive forth to engage. Oh, I'm sorry, I rolled horrible. But you still got better than it, so, hey, that's good. <laughs> Awesome. Um, I'm going to play this fast and loose because, um, well, I'd rather do that and keep the, keep things flowing. So, Vermala, um, you're getting in range to do, I'm going to say you are about a movement away uh, from this thing. Okay. How do you wish to All right. proceed? The Okay, does it look like it's a it's approaching a like a tent or anything outside? Is it going towards a carriage or is it like going um, for the woods? It does appear to be heading towards uh, one of the side tents. Do I know which side tent this is? Uh, no, because I'm kind of making that up as a go along. <laughs> awesome sauce. Okay. <laughs> it. It doesn't right. seem to be anybody specific. Uh, we'll say I... the fortune teller. There we go. It's going at the fortune teller's tent. Okay. I disengage my sword from its holding mm -hmm. so that I can wield it. So there's, I guess, an action. And I'm going to try to... Oh, I'm trying 
And remember, do the Strix have clawed feet? Or do they have regular feet? You do have talons. Okay. I'm going to try to grab the damn thing with my feet. See if I can just pin it down by up by the head. Okay. Um, we'll we'll call that at least an attack for the begin for the beginning. Mm hmm. Jesus Christ! Oh, hey, it didn't actually register. I'm gonna go with that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know. I had one that registered that I went with. Now I had one that or that didn't register that I went with, and now I'm gonna have one that didn't register that I don't go with. So. That's my prerogative as a DM. There we go. All right, that is a hit. Um, so, meow. Uh, mic on the mic. I'm not sure what. Uh, I mean, Darren's around, but. You were very talkative tonight. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so this will be. I think it's just opposed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So you have to beat its DC. That huh? is a terrible roll on my part. I apologize. Um, and yeah, even it's piddling, um, strength would be enough to resist that. Um, do you want to, do spend I have any point? movement? Left over? Um, you want to spend a hero point to reroll? Yes. Okay. I'm trusting you because I can't see the dice. I have no idea what's being rolled. Well, <laughs> Uh, you got a six. You got a nineteen on your attack, but you got a six on the uh, on trying to keep the thing pinned. Yeah, um, definitely reroll that. Ah, that is much better. So that definitely beats its um, DC, whatever that might be. Um, well, actually, I do know what it would be, uh, but it still beats it. So there we go. Uh, so you were able to pin Yay. it down. <clears throat> Okay. okay, so therefore, is that my turn now? Uh, let's see. You drew a weapon. I've withdrawn which I my weapon. Is a bonus and action. then I grab Right. Uh, anybody confirm if drawing a weapon is a bonus action? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to say it is for now. We'll what? worry about it later. Uh, so technically, yeah, you could have a, a third action. Because you would have moved, pinned it with your talon, and there you go. Oh, it's just a, it's just a snake. I'm gonna try to stab down at its head and see if I can get it between the eyes. All right, I'm gonna make an attack. Yep, with my pretty pretty sword. With your pretty pretty sword. Okay. Uh, the downside of the attack with the pretty pretty sword is it is a second attack. So, only yep. has a plus zero modifier. Let's see if you hit. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a crit. Ah. Yeah. Yep, and do you guys see the, the 20 I just grabbed and dragged on there? Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. And that was 14 damage. So you cut the head off of the snake. Awesome. It still bites. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that is um, a dead and very poisonous looking uh, viper of some kind. Awesome. Okay. All right. <laughs> going going back. Going back to the big top. Yep. <laughs> All right. So 
Uh, let me see here. All right, and they have, so now we are approaching uh, the, the main event. Uh, uh, it's all good. Um, Hell yeah. Perhaps with the... Uh, um, yeah, well, it, it's all good. Um, Mike is, t is acting ringmaster anyway. So, um, <coughs> Mike, you can come out <coughs> and introduce the Featherfall Five. Okay. Let's see here. Feather Fall Five. It's like, hey, you killed him just so we would do the work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ugh. Just get character real quick. Wouldn't it be hilarious if Mike actually spoke with a British accent only in person, like private company? <laughs> <laughs> like he's all refined, like, but then he gets in front of people and he just changes. <laughs> you cannot, you can't imagine. How, no, I can't even do a British accent right now. Uh, <laughs> no. Sadly, it's just not going to happen. All right, uh, computer, turn off the lamp. All right. Okie dokie. So I saunter back on. What do you say, folks? Don't you think they deserve a round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, though I gotta tell you, I'm kind of disappointed that the cat didn't catch the clown. But oh well, maybe next time. I have third degree burns! <laughs> she, has to, she has third degree fun! <laughs> you got same pies, you'll be fine. I'm trying to find a laughter one. They don't seem to have one. Why don't they have a laughter one? Yeah. A laugh track? Yeah, yeah it's they have un -American. a laugh track. No, they have that a freaking Wilhelm screen, but they don't have a, a laugh track. <laughs> uh, anyway. <clears throat> but on to the next part of our show. You've seen something earthy, but now it's time for us to reach to the skies. As I want to introduce you to the fabulous acrobatic feats of the Featherfall Five. Wait, sorry, <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Say like, all right, I quit. <laughs> I didn't ask for this job, but I did it to the best of my ability and I'm not getting any of it. <laughs> Aww. 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 Looks like I got two I have to treat for burns. And and uh uh Virmala gets a gets a hero point back. <laughs> Mike is just gonna cast magic missile on himself. <laughs> makes makes uh, a finger gun just bam. <laughs> okay, so um the Featherfall five Begin. What did I? Oh, that's right. I was trying to give Cleo a place to sit, but she wouldn't take that place. She had to sit right in front of my computer. The cat. Yes, of course. They're... Yeah. I mean, you know, the body on the bed. They're going to be inclined to sleep in the box it was packed in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, uh, two of the family members, um, siblings, twins, 
a brother and sister, they start swinging from opposite ends of the big top. Hello? 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 What? Yo. Okay. Uh, that was weird. <clears throat> Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah, because I get to do all of this myself. I'm just gonna. Okay, okay. And then, since I have to do two. Uh, oh, oh, okay. No, that was actually better. Um. Okay. And let's see, that will be a oof. That was a good oof, right? <clears throat> yes, totally. I am too a good liar. So, <clears throat> the siblings are doing uh, very well acrobatically. They are um, swinging from opposite ends. They um, grab each other's forearms, do a few flips, grab the bar as it comes back. And then, as they are going towards one another, um, it looks like they are way too far apart to catch each other. Um, then the main part of their trick is um, that that was their intention. They s both release through the air, um, grab each other in the center of the circus tent um, with their ar with one arm around each other and their arms outstretched for lo and behold their dad is swinging down from the bottom or from the uh, sorry not the bottom uh, is swinging down from the north portion of the big top yeah and he grabs their arm, their outstretched arms, and he's holding on, he's holding on, and then his feet slip off. Ooh. The uh. trapeze. Thankfully, they were towards the lower portion of their swing, but they fall. Oh, so... Did we just get some Batman Forever action in this? Seriously. Yeah, I know this really can't be referenced, but... I called dibs on Batman. No, I... Are we gonna get a... If there's a survivor out of this, we're gonna see Robin. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, I get to be Batman in this play. I call the Joker! <laughs> Seems a little on the nose, don't you think? I'm a clown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, they fall to the ground. Their fall is arrested at least a little bit uh, by the netting that you have uh, elect that was elected to be put up. Um, but they still fall, and it becomes quite evident. David wants to know if he gets to be Catwoman. <laughs> I'll allow it. I second the motion. I'm not helping him get into the leather. <laughs> I 
I don't know, does he have the body of Halle Berry? Oh, he might have the body of some type of berry. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Zing. Zing. That was, a, that was a burn, and that was just, like, deflected. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Make the crowd noise, right, Zach? I'm sorry, say again? I'm assuming that the crowd made a bunch of noise when uh, when that whole thing came down. Like, oh yes, they <laughs> let out they let out a gasp of shock and horror as they fall. Okay, so if I can hear it, I'm going to just scoop up the the head of the snake and head back quickly. Okay, yeah. so David is is gone, gone now. Uh, I will NPC him to the best of my ability while we wrap this up. Yeah, is a, is a Gazla still on the scene? Does he see all this happen? Or um, I'm gonna say yes uh, because you um, actually yeah. no. Uh, you're 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 backstage. You're watching from from yeah. backstage. I'd I'd say you definitely. Can poke yeah, is it, I think it's like a part of my the the background of my character. He's supposed to spring into action if things go awry. I think I'm going to be prepared to sort of jump in there to try and distract the crowd. Okay, um, they actually have something like that here. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's called send in the clowns. Yes. Um, <laughs> It's exactly that, too. Uh, you or yeah, another performer... Cool. Hold on. You or another yeah. performer has failed or critically failed a trick check during during the current act. Uh, you give the signal for the circus clown troops to come on stage and rescue a botched trick. A failed trick becomes a success instead. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, they can only be sent in once per act, and only one trick check is affected, which would be that last one. Send in the clowns. Okay. Ooh, I, need to know, I know how how the like how to make it look awesome. Okay. Just, okay. just make them disappear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they tumble. It's a disappearing act. Uh, Nothing uh, to Cinder, see. Cinder, you got that? You got that thing? <laughs> and, uh, go go ahead, Derek. <laughs> So they I fall, the audience gasps in horror, and then at the last second, uh, Gazzo rushes, uh, appears under them, and would basically, uh, God, they, it looks so cool in my head, I'm having a tr trouble describing it's, it's okay. it. So Do basically, at the last, say, look, I'm okay. Well, no, 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 no. It's basically it's gonna be a last second like they all of a sudden like change positions in mid air so that their feet are facing the ground. Then you come out and with each one of your arms up, they each uh, uh, land in one of your your hands and oh, then you yeah. push them back up. Or why don't I just catch them? Like come out on my unicycle and I catch each one of them on each arm. Um, so, so technically, technically the send in the clowns is actually not allowed because you have to be, uh, in the performance to call for a send in the clowns. And that was their last oh. thing. But, but uh. this is our first real session. So I'm just going to say, let's, let's go for this. Gaslow, here is the kicker. Um, if you're going to do something where your three arms tries to help them, uh, do their fall properly with like minimal injury. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need you to make not one, not two, but three uh, athletics checks because you are not just trying to catch them; you are trying to catch them properly. Okay, so there's it's it's uh, there's no penalty with it uh, or uh, no, diminishing. I just, it, it's it's just it's the just it's just the fact that you gotta make that those athletics checks. All right, I can do this. 
Yeah, you already burned all those ones way early, early <laughs> on in the game. This is where the good part of the game is done otherwise, because that was two ones. What? No. Uh, Netflix? 11? Yeah. <laughs> all right, that was, right. That was bad. That hey, was man, two I'm ones. I know. <laughs> Come on, homie, let's do oh, okay. it. Okay, all right. So, um, doing quick DCs based on level, you technically need a 15. <sighs> I got two hero points left. All right, let's do it. All right. Don't you still need to make one more anyway? Yes, yeah. he does, but he... Just... I'm going to re -roll. Yeah. Because I don't want to fail this. Also, the clicking doesn't seem to work. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's got to uh, be a double click. They... Come on. Woof. Bill money one. Give me money. Woo. Okay, we got two. Nice. All right. Two out of three. So... You've got the twins. Oh, wait, you got to get the dad. You get the dad. They're not going to be orphans today. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, nice. And with your less than dexterous limb, you latch out and you manage to, and, and basically you're, you're, you're doing more or less what was suggested, where you soften the, them by giving them some, kind of a bit of a push up. Um, let's see here. I'm going to, I'm going to try something. Okay, um, so uh, oh. you give him a push up, and the um, the brother manages to turn that into a double somersault and lands properly. The sister manages to yeah. do a flip and lands properly. Uh, the dad, unfortunately, um, just manages to take advantage of it and land without hurting his ass. He staggers a bit. It's less than graceful, but um, the crowd just goes wild all the same because they are not... They are not dead or, you know, horribly mangled. <laughs> Though it does look like... Um, Yeah, it does look like the um, they will have to uh, rest a bit because while um, the father staggered, uh, it looks like he he probably sprained something, and uh, the sister seems to have a slight limp as well from her landing. Um, that that is all they have is probably a good thing, um, but they quickly make haste backstage. Um, a little pale. <laughs> Just quite an accomplishment. Considering well, they probably weren't family. expecting to get rescued yeah. by a clown with three limbs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mike. The finale. Introduce it. Oh yeah. What's the finale? The finale is uh, both Cinder and. Um, uh, both Cinder and Felix, as well as uh, the Dwarven Throwers. Okay. So do do we have to all work together, or are we all just kind of doing our own thing? Um, it's sort of a it, it, it's sort of a big thing. All right, so you know how on the map there's the three rings. Um, I would say you all start each in those three rings. I'll say, Cinder, you're on the left. Um, Felix is on the right. The Dwarven Throwers are in the middle. Um, there are... I don't know how many of them. I'm, I'm, maybe four? Give me a second. Does it tell me? Well, I'll worry about that yeah. later. We're going to say there are three of the Dwarven Throwers. They're all muscly, uh, wearing brightly colored leotards. And, um, yeah. So, um, 
they rush in uh, with somersaults. And uh, since there's, I'm going to say that there are three of them here. We've got, uh, you guys know that one is going to be launching towards each of you. Um, Cinder, I'm going to say you are first with uh, come up with a trick as one of the dwarves are going to launch towards you. <laughs> nice. Also <laughs> horrible, but still nice. <laughs> um, just He's just launching straight at me? Um, just, just imagine a dwarf being thrown at you and then come up with something. It's part of the I'm gonna, pre- I'm gonna pretend to be absolutely horrified and stand completely stock still until the last moment and then use my genie's veil. Make myself go completely invisible for a split second, duck down underneath and stand back up and become visible again, looking like I never moved. Ah, okay. Um, you know, for that one, for that one, I want you... Oh, whoops, that's, that's not what I want to do. Um, for that one, I want you to roll a deception. Deception. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Oh, hey, I have a plus seven for that. Oh, wow, I freaking threw that thing. Oh, hey, there we go. There we are. Why can't I not see any checks? Like, I don't see... The last check I see is from Gast. Um... Well, if you're talking about with the throws I made... No, 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 right, no. Please like, stop doing that. Please level. stop doing that. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's okay. So sorry. It's alright. Um, for some reason, it didn't catch your roll. Just make it again. No, it's... Wait, what? Yeah. And I made it. I made a 17. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Darn. Okay. That is good. It's still really good. Yeah, it's still good. All right. Um, let's see. I will technically need to run with. Okay. Um. So one of the uh, dwarves leaps up. Um, looks like he's about to charge towards you, Cinder, and at the last moment he leaps up, his his fellow dwarf cups his, cups his hands together for, for a boost and hurls the dwarf at you, and he flies through the air with his, uh, with, with what looks to be some sort of skull cap on to, you know, give him more aerodynamic. His beard <laughs> bustling in the wind as he's going straight towards you. And you blink out and blink back in right after he passes you. And the crowd, the crowd cheers. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other dwarf goes running towards Felix. <laughs> he just keeps meowing randomly. Um, and more or less the exact same thing um, happens as the uh, as as Mr. Kitty leaps in the air as though to intersect. So we're gonna have Mr. Kitty do acrobatics. Oh no! Mr. Kitty doesn't do well. Mr. Kitty is falling short. Maybe the dwarf can make up for it. Uh, well, I actually already rolled for the dwarf, so I know it can. Um, so it's, uh, he lands in the circle, kind of sails over Mystic Kitty, um, and, uh, somersaults into a, lands with a somersault into a standing position, um, after that, um, he grabs Felix, Swings around like they're like they're doing a spin, their arms outstretched, and then as he comes around again, the dwarf throws Felix the cat towards his brother in the center ring. 
Felix does well. Uh, meanwhile, the other one grabs, does the same uh, to Cinder. Well, kind of does the same to Cinder. He comes running after Cinder, looking like he's angry. He missed. And at the very last minute, he, lo he skids to a stop, kind of like he's making a home run. Cups his hands together, and that's Cinder's signal to step up. Cinder, give me an acrobatics check. Um, yep. My bad. Mm, you're fine. Hey, there we go. Oh, wait. What the? It didn't... Are you oh, rolling? I have to specifically... Yeah, I rolled. Are you rolling in the chat box? I did not. Okay, yeah. so... The That's chat box is where you gotta roll those things. If you're picking up the diamond, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna hero point that. All right, do it. <laughs> yep. Acrobatics. Hey, that's a bit better. That is better. Okay, so you uh, successfully fly through the air, and the dwarven brother in the middle with his. Mighty, he's the biggest of the Dwarven Brothers. Clearly the athlete of them. I mean, they're all very athletic, obviously. Um, but he manages, as you guys both come in at the same time, to catch you. So that is the third Dwarven Brothers thing. He spins around, and now you have to land gracefully, but you're both a little dizzy. So, Cinder, let's do another acrobatics check to see if you can land gracefully into a bow. Okay. Ah! You got two of them. Use them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, one more. This is the final one. Finale, man. You yeah, can do it! Come on. Come on! <laughs> oh my gosh. In, wait, in oh, it was outside of it. Box. Yeah, that was Ooh. outside. Oof. Thank what God. Hey, it's the same one! <laughs> uh, it's Whatever. a 15, though. That's it. That That's works, what you need. I think. That's the DC nice. here. <laughs> All right, and uh, here's hoping uh, Felix is up to snuff here. That's not good usually. Just silence. <laughs> oh my god. Unfortunately, oh. Felix does not make his landing. No. no. Um, he staggers, he, he stumbles. Huh? Did he fail colossally? No. No. Did he fail within one? No, he failed within three. Oh. Uh. Yeah, but, but. The crowd still goes wild. No, it wasn't perfect. We're doing it again. <laughs> uh, and yes, the crowd goes wild. There's cheering in the stands. Um... Let me take a look here. I stopped keeping track of the results, but I kind of know them. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, Felix made, I believe Felix made the last one. Oh, whoops, that should be one. <clears throat> um, didn't make his first one. Gaslo made two out of three. Uh, Featherfall 5 made 2 out of 3, but then, um, but then, uh, Send in the Clowns happened, and you guys managed to turn that last one into a victory, even if the Featherfall 5 were injured in the process. And yes, there are two more members of the Featherfall 5. I just didn't think to put them in my description of the thing. <laughs> so, 
uh, we are there, and then we are at the Act 4 finale, where uh, Felix and Mr. Kitty got one, uh, Cinder got all three of his, yeah. and the Dwarven Throwers got all three of theirs. So that That's ends hard. up being six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, yeah, you guys got you guys got more excitement than you had anticipation. So the crowd is going wild. Yeah, nice. Huzzah! We succeeded, and only one person died. Yeah. <laughs> um, and with that, I will call this session here. At the end of the show, as everyone's cheering, and you all got a mystery to solve. Dun, dun, dun. We do. Next time on Extinction Curse. I gotta, I gotta find an actual name for our group or something. But don't worry about that. I, I, there is one name I could think of, but I don't think it's safe for work. Yeah, probably not. The Carnival of Clusterfucks? No, don't. <laughs> I didn't even hear what they said. That's good. That's good. Because uh, I really don't want to get banned from Twitch. I'm trying to turn this into a thing, yo. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, though I do think uh, swearing happens a lot, and I do have my channel. I'm pretty sure I have my channel listed as uh, not for kids. So, yay that. Yeah. Um, all right, everybody who has stayed with us through this, I hope you have uh, enjoyed yourselves. I hope you've had fun. We are done. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. It was fun. All right, Mike. Yeah, all right. You, you followed instructions. Good for you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you get it.